prepare for Zion National Park. So you want to plan for Zion? Awesome. Here is everything we know to get you thinking about your trip. By the end of this video, you will learn what you need to get started. Later, we are going to share with you our three favorite hikes, but right now, here is a brief overview. Zion National Park is home to almost 1,000 different plants through desert, riparian, woodland, and coniferous forest life zones. As you watch this video, you will notice all the different plants and start to see the variety. The Anasazi created petroglyphs and cliff dwellings that are between 800 and 1,500 years old and are still viewable today in Zion Canyon. Additionally, the park is home to mule deer, coyotes, bighorn sheep, ringtail cats, California condor, cougars, gray fox, many birds, and just a few squirrels. For these reasons, Zion Canyon was established as Makuntuweep National Monument in 1909 by President Taft and a national park in 1919 by Woodrow Wilson. Now that you know why Zion was protected as a national park, let's get to the hikes. Later we will let you know one animal that is most dangerous in the park. The Narrows area of Zion might be the most popular hike in the park. We started at Shuttle Stop 9, Temple of Sinawava, and hiked almost to the Big Spring and back, which is about 10 miles. 340 feet of elevation gain and mostly in the water. We spent about four to five hours in the Narrows and made it to Wall Street and other amazing sections of the canyon. The gap between the canyon walls and the Narrows is only 20 feet wide in some spots and the canyon walls rise more than 800 feet tall. Make sure you pack the proper gear, plan to get wet, and check the weather to make sure the hike is safe. Stay until the end for a playlist with a planning guide of the Narrows. Zion Canyon is being carved by the Virgin River and has been growing deeper for over 2 million years. Our second hike started at Shuttle Stop 6, the Grotto, and took us to Walter's Wiggles, the base of Angel's Landing, and Scout Lookout. The West Rim Trail goes for miles. The Grotto to Scout Lookout hike on the West Rim is almost 1,500 feet of elevation gain, 4 miles round trip, and takes 3 to 4 hours to complete. To hike Zion National Park from the Grotto to Scout Lookout, and the start of Angel's Landing, you have to climb higher than the New York's Empire State Building. A planning guide of this hike is also included in the playlist too for you to view next. Zion National Park was named by Mormon pioneers in the 1800s, which is Hebrew and means refuge or sanctuary. If you are getting value today, please like it now to tell YouTube to share this video with more people. One more hike to go, and stay tuned for the three-day itineraries we recommend. The third hike we would like to share is the Canyon Overlook Trail. To do that, we have to tell you it is located at the east entrance of the Mount Carmel Tunnel. The highway tunnel was the longest tunnel of its kind when it opened in 1930 and is a must-see. It provides a better connection between Zion, Bryce Canyon, and Grand Canyon National Parks. The Canyon Overlook Trail is 1.1 miles, 200 feet of elevation gain, and takes about an hour to hike and enjoy. The payoff is some of the best panoramic views of the canyon, and they are definitely worth it. Further east is a great Zion Park sign for selfies and family photos. Stay until the end. We've included a planning guide for the Canyon Overlook Trail in our Zion playlist too. Still wondering what the most dangerous animal in the park is? We'll tell you next, but first here are two three-day itineraries we thought would be helpful for beginner hikers. Example itinerary one, day one, the Narrows, day two, Angel's Landing and the West Rim. Day 3, Mount Carmel Tunnel, Canyon Overlook, Zion National Park Sign Photo Op, Mokai Cave, and Belly of the Dragon, which are outside the park and fun little hikes. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Example itinerary 2. Day 1, the Narrows. Day 2, Mount Carmel Tunnel, Canyon Overlook Trail, Zion National Park Sign Photo Op, Kayenta Trail, and Emerald Pools. Day 3, Angel's Landing and the West Rim. Beginner hikers, littles, or those with physical restrictions may find the West Rim from the grotto maybe too much. An angel's landing really is for serious hikers. Mix and match the above to your liking. Subscribe to our channel as we are posting shorts daily and longer videos like this one weekly, and you don't want to miss what's next. It's also a good way to find this video if you want to replay it later. Okay, the most dangerous animal in the park is the squirrel. They are opportunistic, will seek out food, bite you to get it, and carry rabies in the plague. We watched someone get bit, and we even watched a squirrel open an unattended backpack. Pretty dangerous animal in a small, cute, innocent-looking package. The shuttle service at Zion National Park was used full-time for the first time in the year 2000, and other than bicycle or hiking, it is the only access to Zion Canyon during the busy season. We thought the shuttle was the best mode of transportation. Also, staying in the park, or as close to Springdale entrance as you can, worked really well for us. Continue your planning by clicking our playlist featuring the hikes mentioned above right now.